All right, how's it going? This is Sam Wilker with thinkparticle.com, and in this video, we have some exciting news. Um, I've got a new release of the ThinkParticle building generator. Now, this release has a special update uh, that expands the availability. Now, before, the ThinkParticle building generator only worked in the studio version of Cinema 4D. However, now with this update, there's also a version that's included in, um, in the uh, release, which you can download. Uh, which works with the broadcast version. So anything that has MoGraph enabled. So um, you have your version of, um, this is the full version of the building generator, the 1.1 release, which works with the studio version. And it, um, and then you also have your 1.1.2 release. So if we go ahead and open up the content browser, and let's go ahead and get a bigger one, uh, we can notice that I have uh, two different versions of the building generator right here. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is the new version. So there is a difference here. There's one thing that does not work um, in the build of the last version in the broadcast version of Cinema 4D. But other than that, everything should work. And that is that the walls had thickness. And the way that was approached does not work in the broadcast version. So I've stripped that out. And one thing you might notice is that everything looks the same on the outside. Uh, the only thing you'll notice is that on the inside, if I take the roof off, uh, the walls are just completely paper thin, but that should be okay, and everything else is exactly the same. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you might want to just be careful to make sure that your splines line up with the wall right there on the windows, on the window frames, which is why that thickness is very helpful. Uh, other than that, everything should be just great, uh, just fine and dandy. Um, this is the latest version of the Think Particle building generator, and now it works with the broadcast version of Cinema 4D. So let's go ahead and close that down, and we're going to look briefly at, just for comparison, the uh, last version, the full version, um, the studio version. So the 1.1. or the 1.1.2 version is the broadcast version. And then the studio version, if we go ahead and take off the roof and the borders, you'll see that they're all that all the walls have thickness. Um, and that is controlled uh, right here in the settings. So you can set that to uh, be 5 centimeters. You can set it to be 500 centimeters. Uh, it really, you, you take your pick. You get what you'd like. Um, so let's go ahead and just set that back to the default and turn that roof. Oops, let's go ahead and actually set that back to what it was saved as. And let's set the roof and the roof border to be back on. Okay. So that is the Think Particle Building Generator uh, 1.1.2 update. So go ahead and look for that on the Think Particle store at uh, thinkparticle.com. And uh, go ahead and get in touch with me, Sam Walker TV, on Twitter or sam at thinkparticle.com with more questions. Um, if you have any questions about any of our products, I'd love to help you out. And if you run into any issues or problems, let me know and we'll get them fixed. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sam from thinkparticle.com and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.